This video will cover the topic, Domain of a Logarithmic Function, Advanced. In order to find the domain of a logarithmic function, we must use an inequality where the expression within the logarithm must be greater than zero. This is because taking the logarithm of a negative number is impossible, right? Exactly. Once we solve this inequality for x, we find out the potential values of x that will satisfy the inequality. We can write these values as an interval. Thus, the domain of the function is the interval of potential x values that will yield the positive value for the logarithm. Let's do an example. Find the domain of the function f of x equals log of 9 over x minus 2. Write your answer as an interval or a union of intervals. To start, we set the term inside the logarithm to greater than 0. Next, we solve to find where x is positive. For this problem, if x minus 2 is greater than 0, then the entire fraction will be positive. Okay, this means that if x is greater than 2, then the fraction is positive, right? Exactly. Since x can be any value greater than 2, we can express this in interval notation by stating parentheses 2, comma, infinity parentheses, remembering to use the parentheses because neither the 2 nor the infinity are included in our interval. This is starting to make sense, but can we do another example problem just to be sure? Definitely. Find the domain of the function f of x equals log base 5 of the square root of 2x plus 3. Write your answer as an interval or a union of intervals. So for this problem, we would set the expression inside the logarithm to greater than 0, then solve for x, right? Exactly. Setting the square root of 2x plus 3 to greater than 0 and simplifying yields 2x is greater than negative 3. And thus, as long as x is greater than negative 3 halves, the logarithm is positive. This means that the interval for our domain is parentheses negative 3 halves, comma, infinity. I think I'm starting to understand this now, but let me quickly summarize just to be sure. We begin by setting the term inside the logarithm to greater than zero. Next we solve the inequality to find the interval of values of x that satisfied the inequality. Lastly, we write these values in the interval notation to show the entire domain of the values that satisfy our original equation. That's right. 